Oh, wow, that is cool. Ow, that really hurts. No, 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 meat shields, meat shields, meat shields. We just need to, there we go, sniper, push him back. As long as we can meet, as long as we can meet shield, we're gonna be fine. Everything's dead. Everything is dead. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Battle Cats. And for today's episode, we're gonna continue with Into the Future Chapter 3, but hopefully with a little bit more success than last episode, right? I, I had a bit of a hard time. I know I only got through like four or five levels in an episode, but we only have five levels left. So we're gonna start off in New York. And I think I should be a little bit better equipped this time because I went back, I unlocked all of the treasures. So now at least they're all activated. We should be doing more damage to aliens. And I got like 10 million experience over the weekend. So now I think I managed to get Black Cat up to level 30, Dark Merchant Babel is level 28, and Ultraland Passland is level 29. I'm really curious if evolving him would make a big difference. Because you guys were telling me he does like absurd amounts of damage to single targets. He's the boss killer. So I wouldn't mind having a boss killer against True Form Bahamut. Probably don't need a boss killer against a bunch of weak vanilla enemies, though. What's going on right now? I don't like this. <laughs> because it just means that they're saving up everything for when I just tickle that base. So I'm going to have to sit here for a while and just keep the walls up, leveling up, waiting until we get a whole bunch of money. Yeah, I'll probably get all my Ubers out there and then trigger whatever hell awaits. Well, it's been a few minutes and still nothing. In reality, I could be sending out Dark Merchant Babel, couldn't I? Because he won't attack anything. Yeah, that's interesting. So he'll keep parity. If anything, I could just hang out here and wait until he comes off cooldown. Right? Assuming that whatever's waiting for me in that base is an alien. Let, let's try that. I'm curious if I can stack him. His cooldown is so excruciatingly long, but it works, so we can do this. And I actually thought of another cheesy strategy that we might want to try. If I send out something really slow, just to kill these guys and get us closer to the base, we might be able to just destroy the base in one hit, right? I don't want any of my meat shields to survive because they're gonna trigger things. No, 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 don't get up there, don't touch things. But you guys were noticing in the comments that Dark Merchant Babel doesn't fit his description. He does do damage to the base. He's not supposed to. He's supposed to have lost that ability when he evolved. But I'm fine with that. <laughs> so if we can get him to attack the base before anything else, which is looking like a possibility because we're only inching closer and closer. Oh, am I gonna cheese this? No, 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 yes, you send out something. There we go, get, get close. All you can do is attack the base, right? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, attack the base, attack the base! Oh, so close! <laughs> he did it, it worked! If we had gotten two more dark merchants, that would have one shot at the base. Oh, crap, 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 no, 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 don't, don't hurt my cats now, I, I was, <laughs> I wasn't fully prepared. Oh, no. Oh, you missed. Okay, I, I still think we're all right because we have, like, every uh, everything going for us. That's, that's a whole lot of damage, but <laughs> that's a cool strategy. Being able to use his disadvantage to your advantage because you'd never be able to do something like that with even Bahamut. He would push up the whole way to the base and trigger everything. They're all dead. Um, oh, oh, no, I hate shockwaves. <laughs> this is why I so desperately need Togoland's true form. Am I dead? I might be dead. I don't think there's a whole lot I can do here against shockwaves. It's just tearing across. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to do this level again and stack up like five dark merchants to destroy the base in one hit. No, please, please just kill it. <laughs> Why is this thing so strong? Like all my cats are max level and they're some of the best anti-alien cats in the game. Don't, don't start off my episode like this. Not like this, not like this. <laughs> I thought we were doing so well. Oh, we're so bone zoned. Oh, we did it. 
It's dead. We did it. Oh my god. Just in time. I, w I was ready to just cut to the base dying and not have me pander and talk for like minutes until it was doing all that damage. I can't believe we just barely scraped by. All the same, that doesn't feel like a victory because I'm willing to bet that true form Muhammad is probably gonna be a little bit stronger than that. One level down, four to go, and you can tell we're getting close to the moon because we're moving on to NASA where I would assume there are gonna be a whole bunch of aliens and I can't imagine being any more prepared than I am right now. Hello, Mr. Alien. I see that you've been screwing with that space station quite a bit. I can't imagine why a space station would be having a hard time versus a bunch of tentacle dogs and alien poodles. Oh no, okay. Well, we, we might need to meet you a little bit. I wanna save up to get, there we go. I always want to start with Dark Merchant Babel because he'll kind of cascade into everything else. Get me a whole, oh, that's probably bad, right? That, oh, that's big. Oh, it's got tentacles. Okay, can you please kill something? Here we go, okay, we got Black Cat out. We're doing better than last time, I feel like. And we get the Kachi Kachi Mobile. I need to figure out if I want to use Kachi Kachi against Bahamut or not. I feel like lowering his damage is going to be pointless because he has like near infinite damage. <laughs> Going from a crap load to only uh, a, a poop load, not gonna really help all that much. This is another reason why I love having Casa Jizo in my loadout all the time, <laughs> because they're randomly like sprinkle in black or angel enemies into levels, and sometimes that can be a difference maker if you only bring anti-alien, but I always have anti-angel, I always have anti-black, so they're largely irrelevant whenever I see them. <laughs> Why are you easier than the last level? This game just doesn't make a whole lot of sense sometimes. <laughs> Maybe by now I'm supposed to have a bunch of really good anti-shockwave cats or a strategy figured out. I sure don't have either. We do have catchy catchy mobiles. So that's what makes me feel good. <laughs> Not gonna lie, after last episode and the start of this episode, it feels good to get through a level pretty easily and to get 210,000 experience as a reward. And 54,000, ooh, okay. So is that enough to upgrade Togolan? It might be, oh, I should probably mention that, uh, I yeah, let's talk about that. So as you guys know, I normally try to do the 11 draws on camera. I like to save up my cat food, and then when I record an episode, I'll do an 11 draw. But it just so happens that I couldn't record Battle Cats for a couple of days, and they had a really good event going on where you could do an 11 draw for 750 cat food, and you were guaranteed an Uber. And I almost never see that, so I recorded it anyway, but it was you know, pre-recorded, I'm not doing it right now. And in my 11 draw, I got two Ubers. We managed to get Momotaro and Urashima Taro. They're a part of like the Casa Jizo uh, Kachi Kachi Mobile group. I don't really know anything about them. I haven't leveled them up or used them yet. I'll use them in a later episode because I don't think either of them are particularly good against aliens, but I figured I would let you know. That's where these mystery Ubers came from. I almost have enough experience to get him to level 30, but then I need another million experience to evolve him to his true form. So I don't know if that's gonna happen today, but if I can't beat Bahamut, you can bet that's what we're gonna try next episode. Moving on to Bermuda. Oh look, they got a little triangle there and everything. Great, we're gonna be underwater, facing aliens, and uh, probably getting lost with a bunch of planes and ships and stuff like that. That's, that's a very small level actually. Not a whole lot of fighting room here. I might have done that thing again where I overestimate what they're sending out and then trigger the ball. Come on. Okay. Well, we've got a whole lot of money waiting for us, so you guys are all dead. That's fine. And we're just going to rebuild back here. Okay, we got Warlock and Pierre. We got Black Cat. That should be enough. Please, please be enough. Oh, what are you? Have we seen that weird little tentacle guy before? I feel like I have, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I love his little mouth. He's just like, ooh, oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Dark Merchant Babel makes me go, ooh. 
We're thinning the herd, but they're thinning our herd as well. Okay, far does it get cannon? Stupid underwater aliens, get out of here. Dark Merchant didn't last very long. That's the one thing I don't like about him, that he doesn't have great range. That's why I went for level 30 with Black Cat first, because she just survives for longer. That, that makes a huge difference. Okay, don't go getting hit as soon as I say that. That's really rude. Gotta get more seafarers out there to freeze them. Freaking bosses, man, please just die. Okay. <laughs> Every time Black Cat takes a hit, I think it's over, right? If she dies, it's over. I, I just, I, I played this wrong again. I sent out units that triggered the bosses before I was ready. I was only level four. I, I didn't have a whole lot out on the battlefield. Oh no, no, oh no. Okay, well, it was unavoidable. I don't think we're gonna squeak by this time. Live and learn, treat every level with respect, and maybe wing it sometimes. We almost made it. I felt super confident the first time we tried this, and it did not end well, so I... Okay, I am not gonna count my cats before they hatch. Uh, cats hatch, right? Yeah, I'm sure cats lay eggs. That makes total sense. These cats probably lay eggs because they're underwater fighting a very spooky squid. <laughs> we almost have uh, a couple of the Ubers off cooldown. There we go, second catchy catchy mobile. That makes a big difference. So they're slowed, they're doing less damage, their waves have been thinned. Okay, we can get uh, another Marin Mizu out here, maybe far as the cat cannon. Push him back. I'm perfectly fine with killing the base, guys. Whatever it takes. I'm not even totally sure who the boss is here. Oh, uh, I'm gonna assume it wasn't that thing, because it's dead now. It's probably the Slappy Bear, because he really hurts. Oh, we're getting the base. Yes, yes, that's good. Keep pushing him back, Miramizu. There you go. Oh, come on, guys, we're so close. Oh, I can feel that base crumbling, yes. There we go, okay. The strategy works, and we got a superior hurricane wind. So those 48 levels were onto level 46 in Brazil, and for the first time, I'm actually going to look up the level before we jump into it, because I'm terrified. I really don't want to lose anymore. I found that this level has a little bit of red as well as aliens, so I brought Apple Cat. Yeah, you see, red, and I knew. I don't normally do it because I like to be surprised, but uh, screw being surprised, I just want to win! They've already kind of rocked my base. They're not screwing around to start this off. <laughs> Complete polar opposite of past levels. Oh, okay, you guys are really gonna make me meat shield here, aren't you? Not gonna give me any time to get anything out. I am so happy I brought Apple Fire as a cat cannon. Okay, at least... Oh, come on, I was about to say, at least there's no boss, at least there's no boss or anything like that, holy crap! I didn't get any opportunity to send out anything there! Oh, I just wanna win! Why is this game so hard all of a sudden? I'm gonna try something that I have very rarely done in this game in using a rich cat. As you guys can see, I have like 40 to 80 of some of these items because I just don't use them. I've never felt the need to, but I really feel the need to get some money early on in this level. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get steamrolled again. So now we don't need to level up. I can use my money. I didn't even bother bringing Dark Merchant Babel because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him out there. Even though maybe I could have? I might have been able to. Okay, no, this is fine. You know, Marimizu will do just as good of a job because there's a giant alien sloth coming for us. That's not cool. So we're just going to send out you. That's going to make a big difference. The mixture of apple cats and seafarers that are getting destroyed is still interesting because they're managing to freeze every type of enemy that we face off against. Fire does cat cannon, push them back. Okay. Well, they're destroying my upfront cats. Plain and simple, that sloth is just the worst. But my Ubers are fine at long range by the looks of it. And he doesn't, oh no, okay. What kind of range is that? It just hits everything. <laughs> oh man, I, I really borked my strategy. I probably should have brought Dark Merchant Babel if I was going to use Rich Cat. I thought of it afterwards, that's my bad. Okay, we're pushing him back. 
If Miramizu could just get him behind a base, then that would probably go a long way, right? There goes Black Cat. I just don't understand this stupid slot's range. It is out of control. We are managing to push him back, though, because Miramizu can survive one of those ridiculous hits. It feels like a shockwave, but it's not. Oh, I need to save up for Black Cat. Can I do that? Can I just send out a few meat shields? Do you guys need a lot of coverage right now? Okay. That wasn't too, too bad. There we go. Okay. Get you out there. Go back to meat shielding. Get more seafarers. Yeah. Frozen. Frozen. Push him back. Please push him back. Yes. There we go. There we go. If we can get him behind the base, we can just kill the base. <laughs> I am perfectly fine with cheesing this right now. Hit the base, hit the base. Yes, push him back even further. The meat shields are in. We're in. We're, oh, we're, we're still getting hurt, but we're in. Come on, guys. You could do it. You could do it. You could do it. <laughs> These levels have been such a challenge, which I really enjoy. I keep saying it, you know, I would rather be playing these kind of levels than just steamrolling something else in this game. It makes for much more fun for me, and I feel like it's a lot more fun for you guys to watch, right? Because you never know when the tides will turn and I'll just get wrecked. Okay, you want to save your base for a little bit longer, huh? That's fine. Oh my god, so many Marin Mizu balls, yes! I I was gonna say, I'm definitely not getting a time reward for that. Time rewards are something that we are gonna see much later on. I figured we're not gonna need Togaland this episode, and there's no way that I'm getting another million experience, so I've spent the experience that I have on another level for Warlock and Pierre, because we are moving on to the second last level in Floating Continent, and I can only imagine how many aliens are gonna be waiting for me in some kind of terrifying floating fortress. I'll give it a try without Rich Cat, and without Sniper, and without stuff like that, and if I need it, I have no shame in using it, because I really, really want to get through this. They're doing that thing again, where they send out angels? Wait, what? We've been inching closer and closer to the base for a while now. Everything is out there, so knock knock. Who's home? Hopefully nothing big. I think it's a giant alien boar, if I'm correct, or a seal. It's a boar, right, it's the silly hare. Okay, that's it, freeze him. I can't stand on any more cats, so I, I feel like we're <laughs> as set as we could be right now. Whether or not that's gonna make a difference, we will see. Okay, could really use some freezes here. You push him, yeah, there you go, freeze, and a pushback. Ah, uh, they're sending out more aliens. I still can't send out any more cats, so... Uh, reinforcements are coming, guys, okay? It's a, it's a long freaking walk from the base, but I'm working on it here. Man, oh man, Marin Mizu is just brutal in these levels, pushing everything back and then slowing them down so that they can't attack for a few seconds is ridiculous. <laughs> it is such a... what? What? Why are there more than one? Okay, no, that's fine. You know what? I got another Kachi Kachi. I've got another Marin Mizu. I, I only have one Kachi Kachi because you killed one and that's kind of rude. Just keep freezing them and holding them back and I'll keep me shielding and holding up my end of the bargain. Guys, please, please. Okay. Warlock and Pierre coming. Please. Oh, every time I get out a second version of something, the first one dies. I feel like we're doing fine though. I feel like we're holding them off. It's so hard to tell. Fortunately, Marin Mizu doesn't take a whole lot of damage from aliens, so my second one survived, and now they're just kind of attacking in tandem. One goes, and then the other goes, and then they send out even more boars. But, they're staying, yeah, they're staying pushed back. That's all I want, guys. Just keep pushing them back in tandem, and freezing them, and giving Warlock and Pierre lots of space to just slap stuff right in the horns, right in the hooves, right in the tusks. I don't care, just slap them. I constantly cannot send out more cats and we're attacking the base. Yes, yes, just keep pushing them back behind the base. I don't care about killing them. It's the number one Marin Mizu way. Just, yes. <laughs> didn't need Sniper, didn't need Rich Cat. Got a pretty decent time reward, really? I got 250,000 experience for that crap time reward? I'll take it.
I have just enough energy and mental capacity to take on the moon one time, and I'm gonna make it count, okay? We're gonna use Rich Cat, we're gonna use Sniper Cat. I've switched out Marin Mizu for Togolan Pass Lane. Again, I don't know if that's right or not, but I feel like pushing back and slowing Bahamut won't really matter when he has, like, maximum movement speed. It doesn't seem all that good. I think I just want to deal a whole lot of damage to him. Maybe that's a mistake. We're gonna find out. It's probably a mistake. I, I don't think that there's really anything I can do here. Ooh, that's pretty daunting. Yeah, I feel like, uh, okay, we're gonna turn off Sniper. I feel like I'm probably gonna be screwed no matter what, but we can give it a try. When does he come out exactly? Okay, mm well, maybe he takes his time. Yeah, he's probably running late, that's fine. Start off with Dark Merchant Babel to clear out some of these stupid aliens. Get out of here. And then that'll give me enough. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's the big boy. <laughs> I love the way that they look. They're, they're some of the coolest looking uh, cats in the game. Okay, no. What? No, 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 no. You guys didn't see that, okay? That didn't happen. They totally didn't slip in behind my guard when I was admiring my large silly cat. They totally didn't make me waste those consumables. Here we go, into the future chapter three moon. First attempt. Not turning off the sniper cat. Uh, we can send out the Kachi Kachi mobile and we can send out black cat and another seafarer. That's it, that, that's everything, everything is out there. We now just have to wait until we reach the base, I suppose. Oh, Kachi Kachi, no, no, don't, don't, don't knock. No knocking. I guess we don't really have a whole lot of choice. I, I wouldn't have mind delaying a little bit more, but <laughs> what can you do, man, okay? I like that sometimes Seafair pulls up underwear. Oh my God. Oh, wow, that is cool. Ow, that really hurts. No, 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 meat shields, meat shields, meat shields. We just need to, there we go, sniper, push him back. As long as we can meet, as long as we can meet shield, we're gonna be fine. Everything's dead. Everything is dead. Where did things go wrong? I had everything out there. <laughs> it was the stupid Kachi Kachi mobile knocking on the door, okay? We didn't want to knock on the door. Uh, I, I want to give it one more try. I think I screwed up again. This was way too fast. I, I, I didn't want to get through those aliens so freaking quickly. Okay, at least now we have Marin Mizu, okay? I, I got Marin Mizu instead of Kachi Kachi because there are just so many stupid aliens beneath Bahamut that it's making my life very difficult. So maybe pushing him back will be of benefit, right? A and okay, that does feel kind of good. Right, at the very least, he's gonna be resistant, so he can die a few times, take a whole bunch of damage. There we go, there we go, okay. Just gonna keep delaying. I'm actually thinking that Marin Mizu is gonna make a big difference here, because getting rid of all those stupid little aliens by his feet have really made it so that my meat shields can survive so much longer. I should not, oh, okay, no, never mind, that landed. That was probably a good hit. Oh, Black Hat is still alive as well. Guys, I don't even care if we kill him. Once again, if we could just push him back to behind the base, perfectly okay with cheesing it. And Sniper Cat is actually hitting him now. That's another big advantage. Okay, we're learning. We're adapting the strategy and we're dead. Every, everything is dead again. Okay, we're not gonna lose hope. We've got the cooldowns almost up, right? Yeah, Warlock and Pierre, please help. He is just tearing me apart. You're tearing me apart, Lisa. I can't do this. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we did better. I, I'm just gonna call it right now. We are so screwed. I don't think he's at like 2% health right now. Maybe like 50%? Maybe? Uh, 66. That sucks. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Battle Cats, guys. And we managed to get through into the future chapter three. All we need to do now is beat the moon. 
And I think between episodes, I'm gonna have to get a strategy which you guys can recommend. I would love to hear what you guys think I should do to beat this, something that I should try. But I'm also gonna need to spend another weekend getting another 10 or 20 million experience to level up because right now, my cats are getting torn to pieces. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.